Medusa by Louis Bogan. The poem is about a person wandering in the forest when she sports Medusa's house. Medusa suddenly appears and the person is instantly turned into stone. The rest of the poem accentuates the stillness of the scene. The whole poem indirectly hints at the Perseus myth. However, the difference between that myth and the poem is that Perseus is successful and the narrator is not. Okay, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel Bachelor and Master English. Today, uh, as you have heard, we are talking about Louis Bogon's Medusa. This is a poem uh, incorporates Greek myth and in our today's discussion, we shall be talking about um, summary, there will be Medusa's uh, story from Greek mythology, critical analysis and the, the tone uh, of the poem stanza wise interpretation and finally there will be synopsis i'm sure you will accompany me till the end of this video uh, and if you are new to my channel please subscribe my channel and please if you think this video is worth watching please share it among your friends and fellows okay uh, here we go with the summary the poem begins with the speaking common upon house in the woods everything uh, around her seems to be on the verge of changing. Uh, it is as if a bell is waiting to ring, a uh, rain is uh, preparing to fall. The whole world is moving. This is soon to cease though. In the second stanza, she looks up into the doorway and sees the, the many eyes of Medusa and the slithering bodies of the snakes that make up her hair. This is an integral moment in the speaker's life. Any plans she had uh, for her own future improvement uh, and permanently frozen. She continues on to say that after seeing Medusa, the entire world freezes. The raindrops remain suspended in the air and the bell hangs ready to ring but can't. She too is a new step. Her eyes are forever cast down to the ground in one last futile attempt to look away. And her body stands outside the house in the dust. Okay, this is the summary. And here is Medusa from Greek mythology. And what uh, is Medusa here in Greek mythology? Before we begin our discussion in Nepali, I am talking about Medusa from Greek mythology. Medusa in Greek mythology, the most famous of the monster figures known as Gorgons. She was usually represented as a winged female creature having a head of hair uh, consisting of snakes. Unlike the Gorgons, um, she was sometimes represented as very beautiful. Medusa was the only Gorgon who was mortal. Hence her slayer Perseus was able to kill her by cutting off her head. From the blood that spotted from her neck sprang uh, Churchia and Pegasus, her two sons by Poseidon. The silver head which had the power of turning into stone all who looked upon it was given to Athena who placed it in her seal. According to another account, Perseus buried it in the marketplace of Argos. Okay. And this story of Medusa is point wise disc represented here in this slide. One of the three Gorgon sisters, daughter of uh, Forkis and Keto, only mortal of the three, that is Medusa. She was admired for her beauty, as I mentioned earlier. She charmed Poseidon and lost her celibacy at Athena temple. In revenge for the violation of the temple, Athena turned Medusa into a monster. She was slain by Perseus and from her um, decapacitated head was burned Cryosaur and Pegasus. Finally, Athena used Medusa's head in battle. Okay? Uh, this is the story of Medusa and uh, the summary. Okay? Let me share the poem in Nepal. Ameriki Kabi Louis Bogan le rachako yo footkar kavita ma Greece ko mythakla adar banayera 
पौराणिक पात्र मेदुषा नाम की सुंदर युवती को केश अथवा कपाल को वर्णन कर मेदुषा कुन देवता को श्राप ले उसको केश सर्प में परिणत भो यार नराम क्रूप हो अचम तो के भो उनको अनुहार हेने व्यक्ति पत्थर में परिणत होने था इस पृष्ठभूमि आधार मनेर उनके मेदुषा कह गए उनको हेराई बा प्रभावित भई आपू स्वयं भी ढुंगा भाई कुरा समझ इस कविता को मध्यम कवि बोगन ने समसामयिक रणिक घटना स्थायित्व दिन चाहिए दट्स द वेरी सर्ट डिस्कसन अफ दिस पोम इन नेपाली Medusa is a short poem composed by Louis Bogan from America. This is from U.S. especially. This poem consists of five quatrains. Uh, it has a well-refined indirect reference and is a sifting forth of unawareness into a bearable form. The temporal is uh, given a timeless dimension which has an enduring quality of art. The poet writes about you know when she had come to the house of Medusa. A beautiful gorgon who was famous for her hair, but she had violated the temple of uh, Minerva, who turned her hair into serpents and made her face so dreadful that all who looked at her turned into stone. Medusa's house was in a cave of trees below the clear sky, where everything was as it should be. From the door of the poet. From the door, the poet could see Medusa standing in the window, with still bare eyes and serpents on the forehead, moving on the air, uh, staring at her. At the mansion, scene is dead and no nothing will ever move. Nothing can make this scene come alive, no rainfall can wash it away. The water may or may not fall and the bell may make a sound. The grass around will keep growing. The poet will stand outside like a shadow. Her eyes are on the yellow dust that are lifting in the world, in the wind, and not move away. In the poem, the speaker is seeing Medusa going in front of her. She is remembering her changing into stone by the influence of her attraction. Medusa is uh, marked by Bogan's central conflict, a threateningly preamble, a threateningly permeable consciousness ruptures between will and action, and ambivalence towards maternal power as the speaker is, in a sense, shut dead. Beyond such conflict, the poem emerges uh, despite its ambiguities as a pay into maternal power even when the power is dislocated and cut from its source. In Medusa, Bogan creates a testament to the frightening power of the maternal and in uh, subterranean, subterranean form intimates her own identification with her mother. For Gorgon and the speaker assume similarities through sight as the stiff bald eyes of Medusa are mirrored in those of the speaker. Ensnared in Medusa's gaze and duplicating the Gorgon's perception, the speaker must continually gaze ahead, her own eyes rigidified by staring. The poem's network of assonance and old repetitions, bell, fall, shadow, uh, further emphasize mirroring the effect of alliteration between lines allowing us to experience an oral identification, linking sound and semantics. And uh, from the depth of the poem's ambiguity, the mother emerges as both a bonding and a blinding force. In the poem, Medusa, the speaker remembers that she had gone into Medusa's house uh, in the jungle. Uh, the temporal incident is given permanent dimension through this poem. The poem is the imaginative thought of the speaker. She was looking up the sky. Everything was active. 
The bell was ready to strike and son as well as her memory of ancient myth moves, moved fast. Then she saw Medusa's staring eyes and serpentine um, hair standing on the forehead. But this scene will never be repeated and nothing will be active. Medusa by Louis Bogan is a five stanza form that is made up of almost entirely of two of sets of four lines of, or quatrains. The only stanza uh, that stretches from this pattern is the second, which is expanded to five times, five lines. And without uh, regard to the change in line numbers, the rhyming pattern of the poem does remain consistent throughout. The second and the last lines of each stanza rhyme while the others do not. Okay. Here is stanza wise interpretation. Stanza 1 sets up the poem by give, giving us an imagery of the setting uh, like sheer sky and cave of trees. Stanza 2 uh, suddenly shifts the focus uh, of the poem to the appearance of Medusa who is hissing and threatening more emphasis on length to give us the imagery. Next the mood changes, peaceful setting but it gives us a mysterious and creepy feeling as the poet describes the problem setting. Here we realize that the person ha was turned into stone. Further description of the surroundings uh, with the use of connotation shows us that even though the person is frozen, the world continues around him. Uh, I personally think the poem talks about time and death. The first stanza comes from the voice of the person in the poem. It talks about the setting and atmosphere of the poem by describing the house and the sky to give off a scary and calm feeling. Uh, the way the author writes the stanza gives up a feeling of calmness and abnormality by using phrases such as sheer sky or everything moved. Sheer sky and everything moved. Stanza 2 talks about how our guy here sees Medusa and describes her appearance by giving her bold, uh, bald eyes that are steep uh, and her serpent here easy. The author also describes the positioning of the person by telling us the person stopped at the door and turned to stone because of Medusa looking out of the window. The phrase held up at a window seen through a door infers that the character is stopped at the door which we can guess that he is frozen because of Medusa looking at him. Uh, the rest of the poem is a series of descriptions of how the person saw Medusa before turning into stone. Stanza 3, um, the next line talks about uh, how the character is frozen dead in time by using the phrase. Uh, this is a dead scene forever now. This gives us insight on the situation of the story, dead scene forever can also be interpreted as we are stopped uh, in time forever dead because the person got frozen by Medusa and is also dead. The next three lines talk about how everything is still and how everything will remain like that. Thus at the end or uh, an end that will never brighten, the rain that cannot be her and nothing will ever move. Uh, stanza 4 continues to describe the person's death by giving us insight on the dead person's views such as the flowing but inflowing water uh, which could mean that the water is not flowing for him but it is flowing outside of him since the person is already dead. The tipped bell makes no sound uh, could symbolize how you cannot hear anything at a state of death. Uh, from line 4 to 5 the author tells us that grass will always become hay which could symbolize that life al will always head towards death. This is uh, part of the, the illusion that Medusa is a symbol of control over the natural cycle. Stanza 5 or last uh, stanza concludes the poem by giving us an imagery of the frozen person and how his life is turned into a shadow that stands still throughout every day and never to move again. The yellow dust could symbolize the amount of time that has passed since he was frozen because most ancient 
places and structures have dust uh, swirling around them, thus the yellow dust. Uh, through the analysis of all stands, I think the author, uh, the poet was trying to convey the definition of death and how nothing can ever change it because it is sometimes absolute and impossible to avoid, that is inevitable. Uh, from the various paradoxes and including the allusion of Medusa, uh, we can say that um, the author, the poet was trying to, trying really hard to give us insight on how death feels and how really uh, and what really surrounds us when that happens. Okay. And this is a standardized interpretation. Now, let us go with the tone of the poem. Throughout the poem, and it sounds uh, something different because it, it uh, talks about that uh, strange character Medusa and the, the angry Minerva and all situation and everything in still position because each of them turn into stone. So, how uh, death feels, how death encroaches and how it feels. Then that's the tone that can be heard in this form. Here, uh, through the use of phrases such as sheer sky and everything moved, the author or the poet is trying to convey a calm and abnormal feeling to us uh, through the poem. The reason for this is because the poem's main theme is on the death and how it can never be changed or avoided. Thus, the use of phrases such as a sheer sky and everything moved could be. Um, could be words or phrases that are to set up the eventual death of the narrator. When stanza 3 starts, the tone begins to change from an eerie and abnormal tone to an all is lost kind of tone because the narrator starts to talk about death and how things never change. And after discussing here, I have come to the end of the discussion today, that is um, with this slide uh, discussion, uh, I am going to wrap up my session today. That is at last what I would like to say at last. The poem Medusa by Louis Bogan is a piece of writing uh, which describes the situation when a speaker came to uh, the house of Medusa and, and Stone. The poem repeats the myth about Medusa, a beautiful gorgon. Uh, who made people stoned when they looked at her. The author retells the myths, however, it is impossible to predict that Gorgon and the impossibility um, to make people stoned is just a good symbol that author uses trying to express her personal vision of how people are um, to read her poems. The only stanza uh, that stretches from this uh, pattern is the second, which is expanded to five lines. Uh, without uh, regard to the change in line numbers, the rhyming pattern of the poem does remain consistent throughout. The second and the last lines of each stanza rhyme, while the others do not. Okay? Uh, with this discussion, I have come to the end, and I am sure you got the points with my discussion. Uh, how did you get it? So, please write your comments in my comment box and uh, if you are new to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe and please uh, comment and share this video as soon as possible. Thank you for your time and patience. Have a nice time.